we're gonna finally break the myth about reconditioning the battery. But in this episode, we're going to recondition a good battery. This vehicle is only 50,000 kilometers, 2019 has barely four years, but we did a capacity test and it's showing us a state of health of about 75%. We want to know why do we have 25% of lost capacity and how can we restore it? So I would like to take you all the process, every single step of the way, okay, to fully recondition, it's gonna take a long time, but then I will share with you guys the result of reconditioning a good high voltage battery. If you wanna learn, stick around and we will continue then. All right, the process is very simple. The battery is in good condition. As I said, this vehicle is low mileage, but it's still, why is not in 100%? We're going to recondition a good high voltage battery. It's in 75%, but Jose, why are you going to recondition a good high voltage battery? Well, I'm gonna make it simple for you. These batteries do not have a self balancing system. Usually because of the duty cycle, some of them do not discharge and charge at the very same rate. So the battery will get unbalanced. Let me just give you a very quick simulation class demonstration and we will continue with this. Okay guys, now pay very much attention because this is going to make your high voltage battery understanding to a next level. This over here represents the overall high voltage battery, okay? And this represents the high voltage, this battery, but seen in perspective with a bunch of cells or modules connected in series, all right? So in this case, we're just going to pretend we just have four cells, one, two, three, and four. So here, what's happened? Usually when I, you use the vehicle, it becomes a duty cycle. So charge, discharge for hundreds or thousands of times. So over time, loss capacity in individual modules or individual cells tend to occur. So in order to solve this problem, the first thing we need to understand is how does the battery goes on balance? Well, the more you discharge the battery and charge back again, some of the modules don't have the same capacity. So that's the reason why you've seen over here that some modules the blue represents the state of charge. But once I reach the maximum state of charge, you see one of the very first modules reaches the maximum, but the other ones don't. And one thing you need to know, that remember that the computer does not monitor the voltage of the complete battery. It monitors the voltage of the individual modules. So one of the modules reaches its maximum voltage, that's it, the computer won't charge the battery anymore. So this is just a safety feature to protect the modules from being overcharged. Now the problem is, these modules over here, they didn't reach the maximum, okay? Which is telling us clearly that the battery is unbalanced or it has lost capacity. Now, if we take a complete look of this high voltage battery and we want to know what is the state of hell or what is the average condition of the battery? Well, we could see that this is the usable part of the battery and we have this little space over here that's gonna represent the loss capacity. So how do we solve this problem, Jose? Well, very easy. I need to now rebalance back the battery, okay? Now this process, and now in this case, I'm just discharging the module to equalize all the modules, okay? But let's say that the, by just a deep discharging and deep charging the high voltage battery, I cycle it back again. And finally, look, boom. I can use now my overall 100% of the complete high voltage battery's capacity. This is the reason why the batteries begin to go bad because once they begin to cycle, let's, be, let's pretend that each one of the cycle represents, I don't know, maybe let's say six months, just to give you an example. Now listen, they need to charge, discharge, charge, and discharge back again. Usually, as I say, because of the duty cycle, the strongest one will reach its maximum first and the weakest one won't. So Toyota does not have a self-balancing system. So somebody has to do this, although the firm doesn't tell you anything of that. So let's pretend again, in this case it happened, it went to four years already. And in four years, we can clearly see, look, we have probably a 25% of loss capacity and we need to restore this. I'm going to rebalance back again. Hold on. I hope that this doesn't a little boring for you guys, but <laughs> that's how it is. Somebody has to teach you this, right? Here we go back again. Let's, I'm pretending that, just pretend that I am the charger. Now in this one, as I said, boom, 100% again. You could say this sound a little complicated, but it's actually very easy. The high voltage battery is not just one single battery, it's a bunch of modules. 
So if you pay attention to this, when the strongest one reaches the maximum, that's it. The battery ain't charging anymore. So to protect the battery from overcharging. And when the minimum reaches the minimum first, the maximum won't reach the minimum. That's telling you that the battery is unbalanced. So, and that represents the difference between the highest one and the, and the lowest one. It's your lost capacity. How do we solve that problem? Well, we're going to completely rebalance the battery just by deep cycling the battery and fully charge the high voltage battery modules to finally reach every single module, the very same state of charge. It's not about memory loss. That's about how the batteries don't have any brain to remember anything. It's just that the battery is unbalanced. So usually, if we understand that all modules have the same capacity, the battery will be in balance. If the modules inside the battery don't have the same capacity, the battery will never be in balance. Now, when the battery is in good condition, you just have to force rebalance the battery, and that's it. She will be back to life to 100% of capacity. It's time to solve that problem physically. This one's a little burn. Look. We're gonna solve that problem. Let's check out here the other side. We see, okay, all of them good, except this one. This one very, very corroded right here in the connection. Can you see? Do you see my point? Not mean that the battery is bad. She eventually, low mileage, doesn't matter. Corrosion is gonna come. The electrolyte wants to leak out and that's the, what produces, once it gets contact with the oxygen, it produces that horrible corrosion that causes high resistance. Over time, that's gonna kill your battery. Here, in the modules in the middle, they're trapped in the middle. They tend to produce a little more thermal stress. If you have a battery that gets more hotter than the other ones, this is gonna begin to lose capacity. And that is exactly the problem. And the battery will get unbalanced faster. So how do we solve that problem? Well, we do exactly this. Takata, takata. A complete rotation of the modules, all this bunch of modules will be located right here. And the strongest one, very ventilated, right here in the middle. We're gonna take out these connecting locks, clean them, rotate the modules, and we're gonna hook up this into a special charger, and this charger we're gonna deep cycle for three times. It's a very slow process, it takes a bunch of days, but we gotta do what we gotta do. I realize she's not swollen at all, which is a great sign. Once again, we're treating a good hybrid battery. Oh, let me tell you one piece of advice. A swollen module is a bad module. Let's say you're buying a foreign used one or whatever, and it comes, it's cold and it's swollen, throw it away because it's gassing inside. So that's super high resistant. The modules, when they're cold, it should be flat as it gets. This vehicle's been resting since yesterday. So before taking about the battery, make sure leave the vehicle resting for at least one night. That will be more than enough. So let me just rotate, clean, and assemble back. The charger is connected positive directly to the positive line and the negative directly to the negative. The battery is ready. And finally, the reconditioning process is about to be. Service plug is connected, which means that we are now live high voltage here the cooling fan is working this charge by pulses a very very low current so the battery won't suffer at all and that's gonna make us equalize the voltage whether it's in high fully charged by forcing the charge or by deep discharge in three two one i will press the button there it is and i'm applying 0.267 amps this is a long process okay so we're gonna leave this. They will, this will be part one of the of the video, which I wanted to explain everything. But the next step is when the battery reaches 101 volts, I need to disconnect it from this machine and hook up to the charger to recharge back again to its maximum state of charge, which could, could be around 170, 172 volts, which is gonna take probably 24 more hours. But I will share you share with you the results in part two, which is hopefully this. In about a week from now, reconditioning a good hybrid battery. We'll see you then, the very next episode, part two. Stick around. Bye-bye.